Go! This curved motion of the ball is called the Magnus effect. So how it works is, when a football player hits the edge of the ball, he causes a spin on the ball. So he causes one side of the ball to spin around, causing the whole ball obviously to rotate. So if we have a ball here, again we've got a spin on the ball, so this side of the ball is moving this direction, this side of the ball is moving the opposite direction, and we have air particles obviously hitting the ball straight on, causing air resistance. And we can see air particles on this side of the ball are going in the same direction as the spin, which causes an area of low pressure. Whereas on this side of the ball, we have air particles going against the spin of that ball, which causes an area of high pressure. And because of these difference in pressures, what's going to happen then is going to be a force pushing it towards the area of the lower pressure, which is why we can see there's that curved path of the ball causing him to score his goal. Football players are very really skilled as this takes lots of practice as they have to make sure they hit the ball at the right side to cause that spin and to get the right amount of spin on it so they don't actually overshoot the goal as they hit it too high or too low it also affects this trajectory. Follow me for more physics content like this.